I can't believe I'm showing my own ass on the internet. Like, <laughs> if someone told me this is what I'll be doing, I'd be like, girl, you're a liar. <laughs>
things you need to do is exfoliate before and you can exfoliate it's good to exfoliate afterwards to avoid ingrown hairs but don't do it until um like give yourself like a good 24 hours so now that i've you know i've waxed i'm not going to exfoliate until not tomorrow but the day after because your pores are exposed and you don't want to irritate the skin so it's good to just leave it for a full day so yeah don't exfoliate straight after um and i don't have it on me but i'll insert a clip i mean a picture sorry of this ingrown lotion it's called ingrow go it's like an australian brand and it helps with ingrown hairs because i also have ingrown hairs and doing the waxing helps to combat that sometimes i do get ingrown hairs like that's just unavoidable at times um, but I don't get it as often when I wax and yeah so the Ingrow Go is good I will say it has quite a chemical kind of smell um, so if you don't like that especially like on your lower region area then you may not be a fan um, but I found as well like using coconut oil to just keep the skin nice and smooth is a good way as well so whether you want to go for a shop alternative or kind of more home remedy herbal alternative whatever's your vibe i'll also have that link below you can get it on like amazon boots so when you're doing the waxing you as you can see like my armpit hairs kind of grow up grow down and then just all around on both of them so when i'm doing this what you want to do is when you're waxing if your if your hair grows down for example you apply the wax in a downward motion and then you to remove it you Pull in upward motion just like if it applies upwards you go up and then you apply it in an upwards motion then pull it down and that's because you want to go against it not with it if that makes sense um that's the best way to keep it seamless and sometimes like if your hair just grows any which way then you can kind of just do it anyway but when your hairs definitely grow down and grow up or grow up you have to follow that direction of the hair growth um just to keep it nice and looking good uh yeah so i'm gonna start and the best thing to do is to keep your skin taut um yeah keep your skin taut especially when you're applying it and then when you're gonna remove it because it helps to keep um it just helps you to pull it up easier because when you do this it's like there's nothing for you to there's no kind of tension so you want to just do this and you want to leave it sorry i'm pulling it too soon premature girl relax um <laughs> i'd say weigh about 30 ish seconds you want it to be hard enough you don't want to pull it when it's soft otherwise you're going to literally have to apply it again and i would say that when you're waxing try not to if you've if you've waxed and you missed a few hairs just pluck them don't reapply the wax because then you're going to irritate the skin that you've just that area of skin that you've just waxed so yeah so what we're gonna do is you're gonna pick it. Right. Rogue one. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull pull the skin. You're gonna lift it slightly. And then what I like to do is I like to pull it on an exhale because I feel like sometimes when you're nervous, not nervous, but when you're doing something and you know it may hurt, you hold your breath. So I go one, two, three, and then that's it, it's off. And this is what, I can't believe I'm showing my armpit hairs on the internet. Like, <laughs> someone told me this is what I'll be doing. I'd be like, girl, you're a liar. But yeah, so that part is off. And yeah, I think the easiest thing to do, especially when you're starting out, is to just do it in sections. Like for me, because I'm so confident, I'll maybe like do a few like smaller sections, like smaller strips. And then obviously as each one dries, pull it off. Um, but when I think you're doing it, you just wanna, don't rush, take your time, because you're gonna more, rude. You're gonna more, you're gonna more likely um, potentially cause yourself a bit more pain if you rush. So you just want to take your time because so and the hard wax does dry quite quickly so if like sometimes it's better to just i've done like quite a big section here sometimes it's better to just do like a smaller bit but as i said i've been doing this for like nearly a year now but it's basically been a year um so i'm a lot more comf comfortable yeah i've not been barefaced on here for a long time these spots are so 
freaking rude. Like, can you? One, two, three. Half of it came off. This wax remover is good to just remove any excess wax that um you didn't pick up because then you're not repeating the same thing. So like the hairs grow up here, so we're just gonna go up. But yeah, I would say if you've never been waxed, don't try and wax at home yourself because you're not gonna know what it feels like. I mean, you could, but like I said, because from when I was like, 16 i've been getting waxed at least once or twice a year um so wow that's like really six years but yeah i've been getting waxed like one or twice once or twice a year so i'm used to it and initially when i went to the salon i'd get soft wax but um from when i was like maybe 19 i started getting hard wax especially because my sister has thick and coarse hair so she recommended that to me but anyway so because we applied it upwards, we are going to peel it and pull it in a downward motion. I don't think I let that dry enough. I have dark armpits, hyperpigmentation hyper babes know what I'm on, understand, so. Yeah, so I'm gonna do the other armpit. Um, So now that I am fully waxed, I'm a, I'm a smooth babe. Armpit one, armpit two, I'm happy. And what I use is this after wax lotion. It by just pump out and this has aloe vera and do both my armpits. lavender oil. I, I don't know why I was so. I don't want to say then. Spread it out so it's so there's a nice even layer. Um, and I do this like on my bikini line and stuff like that as well. Obviously, careful, but it's a nice way to soothe it. Um, and yeah, so I just rub it in like so. Do the other armpit. And yeah, it feels so nice, so nice, and it smells good too. It's a nice, refreshing smell. Yeah, so um, that is it for this video. I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it, and you found it helpful. If you did, please comment below. And if you have any questions, which are nice questions, not stupid ones then please comment below and yeah let me know what you guys think and if you want to see more content from me then make sure you subscribe and like this video to let me know the kind of content you guys are vibing with and yeah i'll see you guys in my next one